Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Christian's Crosses for Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023, Tuesday of the 26th week in Ordinary Time. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who manifests your almighty power above all, by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke, chapter 9, verses 51 through 56. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the days for Jesus to be taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there, but they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples James and John saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection in today's gospel, the disciples are given yet another lesson that Jesus is not the Messiah that they were expecting. Jesus sends messengers ahead to a Samaritan village to prepare for his arrival, but the Samaritans reject him. So James and John ask Jesus if they should call down fire from heaven upon the village. Now, I'm picturing Jesus' face here for a moment, and the scripture says that he rebuked them, but at some point, he must have just laughed at that situation. He must have thought, Really? You think I came here to incinerate anyone who does not accept me? The heart of Christianity is not vengeance, it's love. It's not destruction, it's redemption. Jesus' response to these situations was always guided by mercy and patience. He sets the example for his followers to embrace their mission of reconciliation and salvation. For us, we're called to offer others that same forgiveness when we encounter people who reject our Christian faith. Some of the greatest saints in history, like St. Paul or St. Augustine, started out living a life that was very contrary to Christ's teachings. In the case of Paul, he actually murdered Christians before his conversion. If God can forgive a man like Paul and turn him into one of the greatest theologians in history, then there's hope for just about anyone. Our mission is to carry Christ's message of love and salvation to everyone, even in the face of rejection or misunderstanding and to always resist the temptation to respond with vengeance or anger. And so today, let's pray that we will remember Christ's example from today's gospel and face those who reject our faith with mercy and love. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.